Kia ora, welcome back, I'm the Kiwi Coder, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert your character from a humanoid to a generic character. Um, so I think the character on the left is generic and the one on the right is humanoid, um, but yeah, animation rigging and stuff works with the generic one, all the animations work the same, um, yeah, and to, to do that we're going to be using an asset from the asset store called Animation Converter by Socksware Interactive. Um, and yeah, I just I got this asset a while ago and I really wanted to do a review on it. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but um, yeah, here it is. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so in this video I just want to do something a little bit different and show you how you can convert humanoid animations into generic ones. Um, and to do that we're going to be using this asset called the Animation Converter by Socksware Interactive. It's about um, 18 euros and one of the main features it has is uh, the ability to convert between humanoid, generic and legacy animation types and uh, just go between them. Um, so I did buy this asset back in May 29th when I was making my uh, recoil uh, tutorial for my uh, third person shooter series and the reason I did that was because I was trying to um, basically modify the clavicle joint using this test constraint uh, object and an override transform constraint and what I was trying to do was just um, modify the position um, of the shoulder while I just make it kick back a little bit uh, for recoil but as you can see it doesn't work and Basically, <clears throat> I kind of dug into it and it seemed to work with uh, generic animation rigs, uh, like in the samples, but it didn't work with humanoid ones. And I think um, basically animation rigging package, uh, or sorry, the, the animation rigging package, um, it works much better with uh, generic uh, animation rigs rather than humanoid ones. So, because I think underneath the hood it has to convert humanoid streams into generic ones or something. Um, so yeah, I just thought it might be useful to some people if um, if you're like trying to switch between them and stuff, it might help you out, might not, but um, yeah, either way, just this is like a standalone video. So yeah, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is just open up Package Manager and just uh, grab the Animation Converter package after you purchased it from the Asset Store. Uh, hit Import and then you should get this uh, Animation Converter, Animation Converter, Examples folders. Um, and yeah, the other thing is you'll have an Animation Converter uh, menu option underneath the window menu. So just open that up and this is the animation converter so the first thing that we need to do is just drag and drop some animation clips on here um, then you can select the uh, animation type to convert to which in our case is going to be generic select an output folder and some prefabs which i'll get to in a minute um, so yeah the first thing is just to uh, find all the animation clips that you want to convert so in my case that's all of these rapid strafe ones um, also i want to convert the exploration the sprint one and the jumping one which is running jump 02 I think yeah cool so <clears throat> because I've got so many animations I'm converting um, I'm just gonna create a new folder um, oops not there uh, just select the assets folder I'll create a new folder under assets called generic animations and I'll just assign that to the output directory here Cool. Um, and now I need to just uh, yeah set up some prefabs. So the input prefab should be of humanoid type, and the output should be generic type. So yeah, what is basically determining if a prefab is uh, humanoid or generic is um, if you select uh, the character's avatar underneath your animator. Um, then scroll up to the FBX file that it comes from. So in this case, it's characters go to rig and then animation type is humanoid so I need to create a generic one of these so I'm just going to duplicate that and rename uh, duplicate it with like control D um, and then yeah rename it underscore generic and select that and just change the type to generic here and hit apply and what this does is now it creates a um, generic characters avatar down here and um, yeah, we basically want to set up a new prefab that is targeting this FBX rather than this one. So we need to create two prefabs, um, but I'll just duplicate the main character and call this underscore generic. And what I'm going to do is just assign the generic avatar, which is, you know, if you just select it, scroll up to the FBX, it's now, you can see it's coming from that generic uh, FBX file. 
this is a little bit confusing. Um, yeah, it, it confused me as well. So the character third person that's targeting the character's avatar. The character third person generic is now targeting the character's generic avatar. And these are coming from different uh, FBX files. These two here. Cool, so now I need to create a um, two prefabs out of these. So just drag the first one in, which is the humanoid one. The second one, which is the generic one. And now I go to the animation converter. And I can now assign the humanoid one to the humanoid field and the generic one to the generic field. And yeah, this all, uh, if you, um, if the types are wrong, it will give you an error message. Like if the input is humanoid and the output is humanoid as well, it will tell you that it's not configured correctly. Or if it's the other way around, you'll get errors. So, so long as you have no errors, you should be good. Um, just one final thing I need to mention is with the animations that you're converting, um, if you have root motion in the animations like I do, uh, like for the strafe ones, and you want that to come through, then you need to go to the inspector, um, select animation for the animation that you're converting, and this is actually the root, it's not the actual animation clip, it's like the file it came from. Um, and then go down to motion section and just make sure root motion is set to root here. If it's set to none, then root motion won't come through. Um, I'll sh show you how to verify that in a minute. Um, cool, so now if I go back to the animation converter, hit convert, dun dun dun. It's gonna now convert all of these animations. It's super fast, quite impressed with this asset. Converts all of the humanoid animations to generic and dumps them in this folder here. So now if I open up this uh, generic animations folder, I've got a ton of generic animations. And this is what I was talking about with the root motion. If you see this bubble, then it means root motion has come through. Um, if that bubble is not there, then it means root motion didn't come through. Uh, like for that one for example, but I'm not using root motion on the jump animation, so that's okay. Um, but for all of the other ones I am, um, so yeah. But yeah, so cool, that's, that's it for this section. Um, now the last bit is actually just, we've got all these animations, but we now need to assign them laboriously into the third person shooter controller. Um, but rather than just overriding all the animations in this one, I am going to duplicate this and rename it to underscore generic. Just so I've always got like a copy of, um, of my original uh, controller. So I've got the generic one here and now if I double click this, I'm gonna go through this really annoying task of basically see all of these animations inside the generic controller are still referencing my old, um, my old humanoid ones. So I now need to just uh, reassign all of these animation clips to my new generic ones. So I'm just gonna do this really quickly now. Cool, that's the, uh, the first one done. So <clears throat> you just need to do this for every single uh, animation node. So the jumping one is easy. There's just a single one here, which is run forwards jump frame one. So I should have a run forwards jump uh, frame two. Wow, it's gonna look slightly different, but that's fine. I converted the wrong animation. animation. Um, and the last one I need to do is the sprinting, and yeah, just same deal here. Cool, so that's all of my uh, animations now converted to use the generic ones. The kind of easy way to just verify that is just click on the animation here, and you can see it's sort of highlighting in the Project Explorer, um, and it's all of them are underneath generic animations. If it pings back to one of the animations in your, uh, your other folder, then yeah, you'll know that it's targeting the wrong one. Cool, so that should all be working now. So if we just test this out, and if I just, um, I've actually got two characters here. So I'll just hide the, um, the humanoid one. And with the third person generic, if I hit play, fingers crossed. Yay, so all the animation rigging should be working. Um, oh, sorry, one thing I had to do, which I think I may have done before I started this video, was I had to set the, um, on the inner uh, animator for the weapons. I had to change it from normal to animate physics. Um, although in this case, it seems to be fine. I don't know. I'm forever changing this around. <laughs> it's, it seems to work sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, so um, 
actually going back to my original point uh, right at the start of the video um, if I then go down into that uh, original test constraint that I was talking about in the very beginning I can now move this and see it is actually working now which is super awesome um, and rotation is working and everything is looking good um, I'm still not sure if I'm going to actually finally convert all of the animations to generic because there is a performance cost associated with that. Um, I'm pretty sure humanoid animation clips, they interpolate uh, faster than uh, generic ones. But then again, animation rigging has to do the conversion. So I'm not sure what will be faster yet, but I'm not really worried about that for now. Okay, so um, that is literally it for this video. It's a pretty short one. Um, hope to get back into uh, my series soon and yeah we'll see you again thanks for watching please hit like uh, subscribe and share it with your friends if uh, if you've enjoyed this and yeah we'll uh, see you again in the next video cool thanks for watching Kakite.